Hi everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. And if you like to keep up to date with the latest FIFA career mode hints, tips, and news, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So welcome to today's video. And if you're thinking of starting a new FIFA 19 career mode, but you can't think of a team to use, then sit back, relax, and enjoy this in-depth review of three of the best teams to use in FIFA 19 career mode. And the first team is the Portuguese Giants Benfica, a team that I've used twice in FIFA 19 career mode with growth test for João Felix and for Gedson Fernandes. So their transfer budget is not massive, 13.6 million, and the board expectations are quite strict, but they are one of the top teams in their division, so you would expect them to be quite difficult to achieve. So let's have a look at those in more detail. So within three seasons, we need to reach the Champions League quarterfinal. This year, we need to reach the knockout stages, and we also need to reach the semi-final, at least, of the domestic cup. Youth development-wise, within two seasons, we need to have one player from the Youth Academy side in the first season, play 50% of the matches in the following season. Brand exposure-wise, we need to gain at least £30.8 million from shirt sales. Continentally, we've already touched on in the Champions League. Domestically, we need to win the league title, and we also need to reach the semi-final of the cup. And financially, we need to finish the season with 6.7 unspent allocated funds, either transfer budget or wage budget. So Benfica's default formation is a 4-4-2 holding, with Jao Felix, my personal favourite player on FIFA 19, playing in the centre forward position. Florentino, the young midfielder playing in midfield, an excellent young player. We'll have a look at those players with a high potential now in more detail. And they've got a couple of goalkeepers out on loan, but the three goalkeepers still at Benfica all have a potential of 80 and above. The young Belgian Mielis Svila is obviously well known towards career mode players, but Vladi Kodmos is their number one goalkeeper. So now we go through the defenders, and the first one with the high potential is Ruben Diaz, 79 overall, potential of 85. Ferro has had a breakthrough season, 21 years of age with a 75 overall and an 84 potential. Career mode legend Grimaldo, 22 years of age now with an 86 potential. Alfa Samido, top player out on loan at Espanyol. Florentino, the young midfielder, exciting prospect with the potential of 87, only 18 years of age, top young player. You've got quite a few players out on loan, Carrillo being one of them. Keaton Parks, another top young player out on loan. Gedson Fernandes, one of my personal favourite midfielders, 75 overall, 85 potential, 19 years of age. Zivkovic, another career mode legend, 83 potential, 21 years of age now with a 76 overall. Jota, the young winger, 19 years of age, 71 overall, potential of 85. Another player who's well known is Krovinovic towards career mode players. To wrap to player who's definitely not lived up to his potential. Jao Felix, 78 overall, exciting prospect potential of 89, 18 years of age. Jimenez, who we know now, is a full-time at Wolves, but he's still on loan in FIFA 19. Jonas is retiring at the end of the season. So for me, that is one area that you will need to strengthen if you're considering doing a Benfica career mode, and that is in the centre-forward or striker position. So let's have a look at some suggested transfers if you are to embark on a Benfica career mode. The first player is Ezekiel Barco from Atalanta United. He can play left midfield, central attacking midfield or striker, 19 years of age, 73 overall, potential of 88. A striker that you could use to strengthen the firing line is Christian Kawame from Genoa. Striker, 20 years of age, 75 overall, potential of 89. Islamay Sar, another wide player with electric pace, 77 overall, potential of 88. And if you want a cheaper option to Christian Kawame, I strongly recommend Matthias Kuhn from RB Leipzig, 19 years of age, 73 overall, a potential of 86. And if you also want a cheaper option to Barco, I recommend Thiago Almeida from Sarsfield, 17 years of age, 67 overall, potential of 87. But if you're looking to do a career mode in the Bundesliga, why not use the Europa League semi-finalist Eintracht Frankfurt? They've got a very healthy transfer budget of £17.5 million. They've got a good squad, including a scarily good front three. They've got very realistic board expectations, so let's have a look at those in more detail. But the overview is we've got to reach the final of the Europa League. We've also got to reach round 16 of the Domestic Cup. We've also got to finish in a Europa League spot in the Bundesliga. So youth development-wise, we've got to grow one youth academy player by plus five. As soon as they've grown, play them in five matches, either as part of the starting eleven or coming on as a substitute. Brand exposure-wise, we've got to gain £44 million from shirt sales. Continentally, we've already touched on in the Europa League. We've got to reach the final. Domestically, again, we've already touched on. We've got to reach round 16 of the Domestic Cup and finish in the Europa 
Europa League spot in the Bundesliga. And financially, we've got to keep player salary growth by under 15% and finish the season with £6.7 million in unspent allocated funds. So I track Frankfurt line up with a default formation of 3 4 1 2, with Rebic playing behind Jovic and Sebastian Heller. Kostic to left wing back is further advanced than the Costa on the right, and we've got on long goalkeeper Kevin Trapp in goal. So let's have a look at the high potential players now in more detail in the squad hub. So Frankfurt do have quite a few goalkeepers, but the main one being Kevin Trapp, who's actually on loan from PSG, so he might need to look to strengthen that position in season number two. Alma Traore, who's recently joined from Monaco. They've also got quite a few centre-backs, but they do play with a back three, so it's quite a good idea to have quite a few centre-backs, including Evan Ndika, the 18 years of age centre-back from France. Exciting prospect with a potential of 86. And Frankfurt also have a few members of career mode royalty. The first one being Jetro Willems, formerly of PSV, 76 overall, 24 years of age now. And also Lucas Toro, central defensive midfielder, formerly of Real Madrid, who used to glitch every single FIFA. Shaverdi Seaton is 17 years of age, central defensive midfielder with an 80 potential. And yet another member of career mode royalty in Mark Stendera used to have very high potential in earlier editions of FIFA, 74 overall, 22 years of age now. We've also got a real face in Jonathan de Guzman, two quality Serbians in Mihat Gasinovic with an 82 potential, and Filip Kostic who is on loan who plays in the left wing back position. But they do have quite a few players out on loan and also some fringe players that you might look to offload. The main exciting point though of Eintracht Frankfurt is the forward three of Luka Jovic, the 20 years of age Serbian with an exciting prospect potential of 88. The powerful Frenchman, Sebastian Heller with an 85 potential. And Antti Rebic, the Croatian World Cup star with a potential of 84. So even though Eintracht Frankfurt do have a quality stacked squad, there are a couple of suggested transfers that I do recommend would add a bit of strength and quality to this team. And the first one is Robert Gumny, the right back from Lech Poznan. He's Polish, 20 years of age, with a 69 overall, a potential of 85, and he's available to sign straight away, and he'll only cost you around 2 million. And that means you can use the remainder of the budget to sign one of the best midfielders on FIFA 19, in my opinion. And that's Ezequiel Palacios from River Plate in Argentina. He can play central midfield, right midfield or central attacking midfield. 19 years of age with 4-star skills and a 4-star weak foot. A 76 overall, a potential of 86. And available straight away for about 15 million. For the third and final recommended team is Lille from League 1, uh, who just like the Bundesliga do have an official TV package which makes career modes in those divisions seem a lot more realistic. The transfer budget is £9.178 million. Pound. They've got two very nice kits, well, actually they've got three, the third kit is very nice as well. And also they've got board expectations that are easily achievable. So in the overview they've got to reach round 32 of the cup. Within two seasons, we've got to finish an Europa League spot in the league. And this season, we've got to try and finish mid-table. Youth development-wise, within two seasons, we've got to have one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season, play 50% of the games in the following season. Brand exposure-wise, within three seasons, we've got to increase season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium's capacity. There's no continental objective. Domestically, we've already touched on the league objectives. And financially, we've got to finish the season with £2.65 million unspent allocated funds. Now, all these objectives are easily achievable considering the quality in this Lille squad. The default formation is 4-2-3-1 wide. And the two wide players, Bamba and Pepe, are absolute quality. Pepe got a massive potential of 89 and has had an excellent season in real life in league. And so let's have a look at some of those high potential players in more detail. The goalkeeper, Mike Magnan, 22 years of age, massive potential of 86. Mehmet Cilic from Turkey, right back, 21 years of age, 75 overall, potential of 84. They also have the veteran Portuguese centre-back Jose Font with a real face. Thiago Maia, the central defensive midfielder from Brazil, 75 overall, 82 potential, and the scorer, one of my best goals on FIFA 19 so far. An excellent left foot volley. No stopping that one, absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful in this angle. What a hit, leaving the goalkeeper with no chance. Quality goal from a quality player. Lille do have quite a few fringe younger players, not with the highest potential. You might want to loan them out to try and do the potential loan glitch, or even sell them to generate some funds. Nicolas Pepe, we've already mentioned, 81 overall, 23 years of age, with a massive potential of 89, wanted by a whole host of top European teams. Bubakare Samare, 19 years of age, central midfielder, 82 potential. Jonathan Bamba, 77 overall, 22 years of age, with a potential of 86. 
Jonathan Icone, exciting prospect central attacking midfielder with a potential of 86, overall of 77. A couple of career mode legends from FIFA 15 and FIFA 16, Fares Bahuli, and the second one being Yasen Benzia. They don't really get much more of a career mode legend than this guy. And Lille also have one of my favourite strikers on FIFA 19, the Portuguese 19 years of age, exciting prospect potential, Rafael Liao. He's got power, he's got pace, he's got strength, he's a scorer of one of my favourite goals on FIFA 19. Great team goal, balling from Bamba, chip finish from Liao. One of the reasons I enjoyed my Lille career mode as much as I did was Rafael Liao, like I said, one of my favourite strikers on FIFA 19. They've also got Loic Remy as the number 9. A veteran who's played in England for quite a good few years, 77 overall. You've got Jose Font's younger brother Rui, who is out on loan from Fulham. We've also got Anwar El Ghazi out on loan at Aston Village and Pivotal in their run to the Championship playoffs. So we're going to keep the suggested transfers quite realistic with some young French players that I recommend adding to this Lille squad. And the first one is Dan Axel Zagadou from Borussia Dortmund. He's six foot five, centre back, 77 overall, potential of 85. You can pick him up straight away, but he will cost you around 15 million. If Zagadou is not available, why not go for Ibrahim Konate, also a French centre-back that plays in Germany with RB Leipzig, 19 years of age, 6 foot 4 tall, 77 overall, potential of 87. He will also cost you around the same price of 15 million. You can't sign this guy straight away, but definitely one for the future. He's Lucien Agume from Sochua in French League 2. He's a central midfielder, 16 years of age with a 63 overall, the potential of 86. So if you're looking for an idea to start a new FIFA 19 career mode, you're very welcome. Pick one of these three teams. You won't go far wrong. All it remains to say is thank you so much for watching this video. Tune in next time. FCG out.